Welcome to the Grand Rapids showroom. I'm Stefan Schwartz, the product manager for Ironwood Machinery, and today we're gonna to take a look at the S124RK wide belt sander. When it comes to solid wood calibration, this is an absolute beast of a production machine. This particular model is 43 inches wide and has two heads, the first being a steel contact drum and the second being a combination head with both a rubber contact drum and a platen for finish sanding as well. So whether you're doing five-piece doors, glue-ups, solid wood processing, doesn't matter. This machine is capable of handling it all. With heavy-duty, high-efficiency IE3 motors powering each head individually, you can be sure that this bad boy has enough horsepower to take care of all the jobs that you'd throw its way. Taking a look at the S124RK's control panel, on the left side of the infeed, we've got all of the controls any operator would need organized very efficiently and easy to access right here in front of me. On top, we've got both the on-off switches for the first and second motor uh, with amperage draw meters, meaning that I can operate one head or two heads simultaneously. Even though this is a two-headed machine, if I just wanted to run a single head, I can crank the second one out of the way and make a single-headed pass on this if I wanted to just do a single part. Um, and my on-off switch is right here, as well as my conveyor belt on-off, uh, which controls the feed, and then my manual up and down jog for the table's height adjustment. This machine is not a constant pass line, it has a moving pass line, meaning my table will move up and down. So I can either key the entry in here manually for my desired height thickness, or adjust this up and down as well. Uh, with an e-stop and an hour meter, I know how long my machine's been running, and I can keep my operator safe. Below here, you'll see the over thickness protection bar as well, meaning that if I feed any piece through that's too thick for the machine's calibration to handle, uh, it will automatically trigger the e-stop, protecting the interior components of the machine from damage should the workpiece be too large. Taking a look at the inside of the S124RK wide belt sander, we've got both height adjustable rollers behind me. Uh, in my first head position, I've got a profiled steel contact roller, allowing me to be both more aggressive and remove more stock in my first position. My second head is a combination drum and platen, so I have a rubber contact roller here, giving me a softer scratch, as well as my platen, which I can raise and lower in order to get a nice finished scratch as well. In between both heads, we've got rubberized hold down rollers that are spring loaded to make sure that my workpiece is held firmly against the conveyor bed during the entire sanding operation, which also helps us reduce chatter, making sure we get a nice clean finish from the both sanding heads. Taking a closer look at the sanding heads inside the S124RK, both of these feature automatic belt tracking, meaning that the head itself will oscillate back and forth to maintain the sanding belt in the center over the conveyor belt. As the workpiece passes underneath it, we want to make sure that our tool's in contact with that all the time to ensure that we get a nice clean finish on the sand. Um, additionally, should the belt overtrack, automatic shutoffs here will engage. Uh, with mechanical disc brakes, both heads come to a halt relatively quickly, making sure that the machine itself, as well as the operations and operators surrounding it, stay completely safe. In order to change our belts, simply we have to loosen the tension here. And once that's done with a, a locking nut in the bottom of the machine, remove this, and now we can pull the belt out and put a new one right on. Taking a look at the outfeed side of the S124RK, we've also got a secondary e-stop located here to shut the machine off quickly and efficiently for anyone in the outfeed position of the machine, as well as looking at the speed adjustment for the conveyor table. Uh, our feed speed can be adjusted here with this knob turning clockwise or counterclockwise. I can adjust the dwell time on my sanding heads by adjusting the feed speed, meaning that if I want to remove more or less stock or speed or slow down the machine to get that perfect finish for your workpiece, it can easily be done so using this adjustment right here. Taking a look inside the right access panel of the Ironwood, uh, we want to showcase a couple of things that make our sanders unique. The first of which being the automatic belt tracking. These laser photo eyes shoot a reflector back and forth to make sure our belt stays center over the conveyor table and in contact with the workpiece at all times. And secondly, uh, we use poly V-belt drives for our high efficiency IE3 motors, meaning that on startup we get maximum torque, less belt slippage, and longer belt life over the lifetime of the machine.